Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to 3D Heads in Cartoon Animator 4. So in previous versions of Cartoon Animator, Crazy Talk Animator 3, uh, we didn't have this capability for smooth 3D head animation, but in Cartoon Animator 4 we have the genesis of this technology here. As you can see, we have three very separate looking characters, um, all animated with 3D heads. Let's take a look at uh, each one individually here. We go to this uh, female uh, little girl character here, you can see the nice and smooth head rotation. Okay, if we uh, pause and go to the dragon here, this is a very unique uh, type of character. Uh, you can create unique characters like this, like the dragon or the reaper beside him, um, for you know to get really uh, attach 360 degree heads to them to get you a really smooth rotation like this. Okay, much more natural looking. And then we have the uh, reaper who's uh, who's very disappointed in you. Uh, a very unique looking character as well. Now it's not only biped and, and free bone characters that we have that are able, able to utilize these 3D heads, it's also quadruped characters as well. So you can see we have this uh, happy little Shiba Inu uh, dog, just uh, the 3D head rotation. Okay, so you can add 3D heads to quadrupeds and custom actors and all that stuff as well. Um, let's go ahead and uh, zoom out a little bit. So speaking of uh, custom characters, if we go over to actor and uh, character, G3 characters, you can see we have these uh, G3 wings characters, the G3 360 characters, here's the G3 wings, the pumpkin bat there, and the spine is the sunflower, you can take a look at their rotation as well. All right, so just to emphasize, you can basically put the 360 degree heads on anything. We'll talk more about that in a scenario later on in this tutorial. Okay, and the last one here is a free bone actor, okay. Under G3 360, Freebone. Yep, you can see him right there. Pretty cool results. And uh, what I'm going to do here is just load up another project really quick. I'm going to show some, uh, basically, some of the improvements with the human templates as well. So here you can see three angles of the same female character here um, with the very nice and smooth 360 degree red head rotation here. Um, so the, the multiple body angles, the 45 degree angle also allows you to create, you know, the, the, uh, the simulation of more body rotation in your, on your 2D character as well. And let's go ahead to the uh, side character here beside this female character. So that's uh, very useful. So the new G3360 characters, humans also have more body angles. You can see side and then side two. Okay. So that allows us to uh, simulate a much more accurate uh, rotation and smoother results for your character's motions. And here we have a angry looking character here, okay? Uh, you can see that the rotation here is almost 360 degrees. So it's a, it's a far more enhanced um, head rotation, uh, almost 360 degrees like I mentioned, and we'll talk more about how we achieve this in later tutorials. For now, I'm just gonna introduce you to these kind of character types and we'll move along from there. Okay, so you can create uh, characters with non-standard bone structure attached to a 360 degree head like this character. If we just uh, take a look at it, let's just uh, go to somewhere where he's facing the camera here. Select our character and go to the uh, um, 2D motion key editor here. You can see it's just a single bone. And we're gonna create a very similar um, head to this, uh, the, to this character um, later on in this, uh, in this tutorial here. So you can see we can just move him around like this. Uh, we can also bring in another like free bone character. Let's go to actor G3360 free bone, like this uh, Samantha character. Let's move this guy to the side a little bit. Here we go. Uh, bring the Samantha character. Let's scale her down a little bit. She's a little bit large for our uh, screen here. So you can see this is a free bone character as well. If we go to the uh, structure right here, but this one has you know a much more a much different structure. So the shoulders and everything like that. It's a custom bone structure that we've created. And if you want, you can just go ahead and uh, you know use the face key editor as well, just like this. You can have your character look like around like this and. Some very nice uh, results, um, you know, very accurate and very smooth uh, head rotation with these new 360 degree heads. Okay, so just wanted to emphasize you can put them basically on any type of character. So, what I'm going to show you how to do is create a uh, character like this from a simple free bone and uh, we'll have it attached to an another uh, G3 standard character. So, I'm going to start a new project here. I'm going to bring in a character, uh, G3 360 humans. We're gonna bring Mr. Ted, uh, Ted side facing, okay? 45 degree angle Ted. And what we're gonna do is apply a quick animation to Ted. So let's go over here to animations, uh, G3 human, Turner's male, side facing motions. And only at the bottom here, we have a walking and falling down. So we have Ted just 
walking along, whoops, just decides to like, you know, bail on the street. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is just bring my uh, project link slider here a little bit closer to uh, where we end our animation. Okay, there we go. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a custom uh, bone, a custom sprite uh, for Ted's head. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to save out Ted's head as a custom head, and I'll show you why in just a moment here. So to save out your character's head as, as a custom head, all you gotta do is go to uh, the custom tab up here and go to uh, face, uh, rather actor here, uh, custom, and then head, okay? And then you want to uh, go to the plus button here, and that's gonna save a head, in this case, Ted's head, all right? So probably no better no better name to call it than uh, Ted's head, okay? And what we're going to do is apply this later to a separate bone structure, which we're going to bring in right now. So let's go put back to our template tab up here. And I'm going to go to uh, G3 characters down here, G3 human, uh, G3 free bone rather. And it's just a base bone here. I'm going to bring in one single base bone like most of these characters have. Okay, so just onto our uh, viewport right here. There you go, onto our screen. And we're going to go ahead and customize this bone. All right, so let's go into composer mode and see what we need to do here. So what we want to do, we, have only have, we only have a single bone here. So what I want to do is I want to apply a head to this bone. So to do that, I'm going to go to the content manager here, go to my custom tab here, or head rather first, and then custom, and there's Ted's head, conveniently located right here in the head folder. So I'm going to click and drag and bring that onto the bone. You can see the bone will highlight green that I want to attach it to. Okay, so then the head is attached to the bone. We can rotate it like this, okay? So it's rotating currently from the neck, and we're gonna change that a little bit later on, all right? But first of all, let's get rid of this uh, bone in the background, this sprite, this gray antenna sprite, by going over to the Sprite Editor, and I'm just gonna select it right here, and we'll just go ahead and delete. Use this button here just to delete it, and then we'll only have the single bone with Ted's head remaining, okay? So we'll close this down. Now, like I mentioned, uh, what currently happens when we rotate uh, this head here, it's rotating from the neck. And because we're gonna have the head kind of roll around a little bit later on, I'm gonna change the rotation point to the middle, uh, kind of the middle of the head. So to do that, all I need to do is just bring down my character like this. So the rotation point is kind of in the middle of his, uh, middle of the sprite head there. And then we can rotate it this way. All right, but I'm gonna go back to uh, stage mode for now. And you'll see we have Ted and a disembodied head disembodied head of Ted. Sound like a Dr. Seuss book here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, Ted's real head and we're also going to delete that head. Okay, we're gonna replace it with this uh, fake head that we have. So let's go ahead and select Ted, go into composer mode here. And in composer mode, whoops, there we go. Don't worry about this. In composer mode, all we need to do is in the scene manager here, you can see content manager, scene manager. I'm gonna select the head, that's the bone right there. And under the head, we have this face, okay? And I'm just going to delete the entire face, which contains all the brows and everything like that. And so we only have the head bone remaining. Okay, so currently Ted doesn't have a head. So let's go ahead and uh, back to stage mode here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to link Ted's disembodied head to the real Ted's body. Okay, kind of like a, a cartoon Frankenstein or something. So let's take that head there and let's just uh, move it over to where we think it should be placed on uh, Ted's shoulders. And what we're going to do is we're going to link it. So we, to link it, we just have it selected, go up here to link. And then we can just select, you know, this neck bone here, this neck nub. And then what's gonna happen, you won't be able to tell a difference. Even though it's a completely fake head, it totally looks the same, okay? So what we wanna do here is we want to detach that head. The good thing about linking is you can unlink as well. So uh, what we're gonna do is when Ted falls down like this, maybe about right here, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's go frame by frame here. Do, do, do. And maybe about here, I'm going to unlink that from Ted's head. So to do that, we can just go up to link and select unlink. And now that head is going to remain on the ground while Ted gets back up and so on and so forth. So if we play it back real time, it's going to look like this. Oops. It looks like his head just got stuck in the mud and he his body got back up. But what we're going to do is we're just going to create a little bit of a roll for Ted's head so it kind of rolls away. Okay, so to do that, let's just uh, blink, stop about there, press F3 to go into our timeline. You can also use the timeline uh, key right here. And this base bones is the head, okay, right here, base bones. You can see it's currently attached to our uh, actor. Um, uh, currently not attached, rather, okay. So right here, 
Blink right there. Let's go to open up the transform track. Let's add a keyframe in the transform track by just double clicking there. If we double click, it'll add a keyframe. And then a few frames later, we're going to have it kind of rotate away. Maybe we'll move it down here somewhere and have it rotate, I don't know, 90 degrees or something like that. Okay, so what's going to happen then is we have. Oops, but he's rotating the wrong way. Uh, let's bring that a little bit forward, maybe. No. Uh, da, 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 da. We want him to be more like this. That should do the trick. Okay. There we go. Now, now it's rotating the right way. But we need to have that happen earlier. So, like this. And I think it's taking too long. Let's just move this keyframe up here. Okay. Again, you can just adjust the timing of these uh, of the roll by moving these transform keyframes wherever you want. There we go. That looks better. So, bling, whoops, it kind of falls. And where'd my head go? We can even add some facial expressions really easy because this this is in fact a head that we attach to to Ted. Okay. Um, maybe he's just walking along. We'll use the two D face key editor. Um, let's just use a template here. So we'll just use a happy. You know, he's happily walking along. Maybe that's a little too happy. There we go. And then whoop, maybe at this point we'll have him uh, change to a surprise. Whoop. Okay, so here to here. Whoop. And then, ooh, ouch. When he hits the ground, we'll have, we'll give him like a uh, fear like this. Or no, how about a wink like this? Nope. Let's use it. Let's use an angry one. He's a bit angry because he hits the ground Blah, like that. There we go. And then maybe about here, we'll change to a fear template. Okay. There we go. Okay. So there's Ted happily walking along. Blah. Okay. Good enough. And we'll talk about uh, you know using the two D motion uh, face key editor for uh, you know template animations a little bit later on. It's just a very easy way to. Uh, you know, create transitions between expressions. Okay, so there's Ted uh, losing his head and getting back up. All right, so that's really all I want to show you in this uh, tutorial, guys. Just uh, the fact that you can attach a 3D, uh, 360 degree head to basically anything. Um, we can rotate this head as well. You know, if we if we take the head, we can also like you know move it around using that 2D motion key editor as well. The morph here again, we can just you know, it's a 360 degree head, so it can rotate any which way, okay? You have it move all, all over the place. And you can have it, you know, move at different points like this, or, you know, I'm not sure what'll happen with this, but uh, whoops, we don't want to do that. Whoa. Okay, so <laughs> we'll have something like this. Whoa. Okay, anyways, uh, I just wanted to show you how you can use the 360 degree head uh, feature on this character as well, since we saved it as, it was a 360 degree head originally, and we saved it out as a custom head. All right, but that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, tutorial, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, hopefully you learned a lot. We'll have a lot more tutorials on 3D heads, how to create them, how to customize them, and how to utilize them in various uh, with various animation techniques. Uh, so make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com, our learning center on our website, and our YouTube channel for more videos as well. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.